Hello guys! Today we are going to talk about facet pattern in C-Sharp. This pattern is very useful when you've got a complex subsystem and you need to wrap it up with just one class, your facade. Let me show you an example that we are going to create in this tutorial. We are going to make a search engine. This engine will consist of data indexers, retrieving data mechanism, generating snippets mechanism and also presenting results mechanism. It will be our subsystem. And we are going to make our facade, the search engine facade. It will be the main point to use our searching mechanism to search results. So let's dive into the code. In the right corner of the screen, you can see the map of this project. So let's quickly implement our first class, the search engine facade. Okay, now when you've got that, we actually don't need it at this time. We'll later came to it back. Maybe let's call it just public for now. And let's jump to creating the first folder, search engine mechanisms. And let's create our first mechanism that will be data indexers. Data indexers are used to get the information where the web pages are stored with which indexes. So for example, when user types a query to a search engine, it will say that the results are stored in index 5, 7 and so on. So let's implement that, call it public, create our first method. It will be type of integer array and it will be called get indexes of stored data. It will take a string as a parameter called query. And this method will write on the console to user a string starting with our query and query can be found at indexes, let's say one, first index five and eight. And we'll also return a new array with the same indexes and eighth. So that's all for this class. Let's create the second one and it will be called retrieving data mechanism and it will have also one method that will be called will be type of void and will be called get data with our array of indexes and at the beginning we are going to write to user downloading web pages with indexes. Let's make a colon here and iterate through with for each loop through our collection of indexes with every index and also write this index. Console write index with a empty space here also with colon to make it look better and now only call the console write line method to jump to the next line to not make too many lines too many uh, text in one line and now our first class a uh, third class that is called generating snippets mechanism 
this class will have method generate snippets and in this method we'll write to user this action that is actually doing we are actually creating snippet with most important informations from page because we don't want to show our users the whole page we want to show the most important informations in a nice way so to present it in the best possible way we will also need a presenting results mechanism and in this mechanism we will have method present results and this method will print to user presenting data in a good looking way let me quickly check if I called each of these classes public this one is good retrieving data doesn't have the public parameter all of them need it the generating snippets also and data indexers have that so we can go back to our search engine facade and make fields for each of our mechanisms starting with data indexers let's call it data indexers nothing more special the second one read only private field retrieving data mechanism the third one from our classes generating snippets mechanism and the last one presenting results mechanism and we've got all of them so now we can call the constructor in which we are going to instantiate if each of these classes the data indexers the retrieving data mechanism is equal to new retrieving data mechanism the generating result generating snippets and also just presenting results class and now when you've got that we can go to create the method for searching the results it will be it will return a string and will, will be called searching get searching results Uh, without this letter and we'll take a query as a parameter so let's create a variable called indexes and it will be equal to data indexers get indexes of stored data as you rem remember we've created the method to get the index in which we are going to search so let's call it now with the query as a parameter now we can use the retrieving data mechanism class and use the get data for the indexes that we already have the third operation will be generating snippets mechanism and generate snippets and also the presenting results mechanism present results and now we've got everything in just one method in one class the get searching results will do everything that we need to get the results and present them in a nice way to our users so we can return a string at the end searching results for query 
end or query that user has typed and here will be our results but it is only a mockup of an application and now let's use it in our program class we can create the object of our facade searching search engine facade is equal to a new object and now let's get our results create a variable for for that searching results is equal to search engine facade get searching results and let's type a quick query for example my query for that and we can print it to the console window these results and at the end call the read key method to prevent our console from exiting and we can run this application and see what we've got here so as you can see we've got our process in these five steps my query can be my query can be found at indexes we then will download the web pages with these indexes create the snippets and present data to the user and the search results for query are so that's all thanks for watching and see you next time